You are looking at some of the more than 9,000 acres of Boone County farmland that make up the Leap Lebanon Innovation District. Eli Lilly and Company's $3.7 billion investment here, part of a larger plan to make Indiana an innovation destination. I think it's a huge opportunity for the state, and hopefully we're the first of many companies that'll plant a flag here in Lebanon, halfway between all the amenities of downtown Indy, big airport, logistics hub, and an outstanding technical school like Purdue up the road. It's a, it's a perfect setup for a cluster of manufacturing for high-tech products. And indeed, Purdue University is making no secret of its intent to be be a major driver, a major player in moving this Leap Innovation District forward. I recently spoke with Purdue President Meng Chang on our Business and Beyond podcast about the university's role in bookending a potential high-tech corridor from downtown Indy through Lebanon to West Lafayette. So now you've got a whole straight line of 63 miles or so, uh, and we call this the hard tech corridor because this is where the virtual and the physical meet and the atoms and the bytes meet and hard tech means semiconductors and microelectronics. Hard tech means ag tech and biopharma manufacturing. Hard tech means transportation, aerospace, logistics. Well, with more now on how Purdue plays into the future of the Lilly Leap Innovation District, let's go to Kylie Valletta, who's standing by at Lilly's corporate headquarters in downtown Indianapolis. Kylie. Thanks, Gary. Lily has called this location here on the south side of downtown Indy its home for more than 100 years. Well, Lily's footprint in Indiana is growing bigger than ever when the new manufacturing site at the Leap Innovation District opens. The new mega site will be just a 28 minute drive from Purdue University. As you just heard President Meng Chang talk about his vision for a hard tech corridor between Purdue and Indy. And that's a very exciting scenario for Purdue's Discovery Park, the group that's responsible for creating fertile ground for startups. Startups. Purdue Research Foundation President Brian Edelman says LEAP could be a magnet, especially for companies that are less than $150 million valuation, likely post-Series A. The rising tides raise all ships. Um, and if we had um, a, a, a live fi filled uh, LEAP campus with a lot of different hard tech, imagine you've got biotech, you might have semiconductors, um, you could have um, a lot of things going on with hypersonics. Um, the, all of those create a test opportunity for startups to, to test their use case, uh, to refine their use case. And looking at the hard tech corridor on a map, the connection between Purdue and Leap is a golden opportunity to move people. Imagine a autonomous fleet of transports that are um, dropping off students um, dropping off researchers and returning them up to Purdue in that, you know, about a 30 minute ride. It, it it's, um, it's like it's on campus, right? I, I mean, so, so the access to whether it's the Lilly campus or whatever may be going into LEAP, it is a corridor. It's connected. I, I just think it's going to be a phenomenal opportunity for the, the companies that decide to go there and, um, opportunities for students and, and research. It can really make Indiana stand apart. Based on research already taking place at Purdue, Edelman says the idea of an autonomous bus is not science fiction. With LIDAR and radar that's used today to support AI for self-driving vehicles, Edelman says State Road 52, which basically runs parallel to 65, is already set up in a pretty great way to support autonomous bus technology. Gary, back to you. All right, Kylie, thank you.